Good morning, G.J. Van Den Acker, uh, President of uh, CISA and uh, Vice President of uh, Cargill. Yourself, G.J., you've been in Cargill uh, for many years. Uh, uh, you have obviously, I think, had different positions and different roles. Could you just capture for me uh, your past here at uh, Cargill up to the present day? Sure, with pleasure, uh, Brian. Um, so, I, as you said, I started in 1987 um, as a management trainee in the Netherlands in the Amsterdam office. Spent two and a half years in Malaysia, six months in Japan, and then came to this office here in Geneva in 1992. I left Cargill in the end of 2013, came back to Cargill in 2015, and have been here since then. And since then, I've been uh, the manager and, the, and uh, the overall lead for the agricultural businesses in Cargill. Excellent, excellent. Well, thank you for that. Uh, uh, a cargo man. <laughs> yes, you can say so. Um, yeah. Let's address the heart of the reason for, for speaking this morning with you. But we see a world, um, a, a, a challenging world at the moment, uh, politically, economically. What will get you up in the morning? What will also keep you awake at night? Right. That's a, that's a very fair question. Um, obviously, uh, first of all, let me say, I think that the risks are increasing, um, not only external risks, but even some of the some of the internal risks that we have as a, as a business because cargo continues to grow. And as you grow and you become bigger, you obviously increase your own internal risks. But let me just focus on the external risks. Um, there's no doubt that uh, cybersecurity is something that, that keeps us up at night because it's a huge risk and take down, can take down any company like we have seen and can do serious damage to any, any large company in the world. Um, the other risk I would point out is the geopolitics, um, clearly increasing, uh, has huge impacts on global trade. Um, as Cargill, as you're aware, we are a big participant in global trade, in agriculture and many other products. Um, so we're a stakeholder in all of this and we are anxiously watching what happens on the geopolitical front. We just came off from a weekend where apparently we have some better news and hopefully we'll see that things will calm down. Um, but there's no doubt there's significant risks that come from the geopolitics. Um, trade, um, directly related to geopolitics, but just in general, they're switching all the time. And we need to be on top to understand, you know, do we have the right assets in the right places? Is the, is the demand increasing in one country relative to another region? Um, those are important trends that we need to watch out for, and, and that keeps us really at, up at night and, and has a lot of focus, of a focus. If there's one other risk that I think I need to point out, um, Brian, is, is the whole um, issue of digitalization. Um, I actually look at it as a risk, but I also look at it as an opportunity. Um, we are making serious investments in digitalization because we see, we see new competitive threats coming at us. Not the traditional ABCDs, but nowadays there are many other companies that are coming on the back of uh, digitalize, digitalization or digital platforms. Um, and they are coming into our space and they're very successful at it. So, we need to be aware of, of the risks that are coming from digitalization, and we also grab that as an opportunity. So we're investing heavily in new uh, industry platforms. We just announced a joint venture with ADM in the US, and we're working with a few other companies to, to create a trade execution platform um, that will help us in our high seas mm. shipping business. So see, seizing technologies as, 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 a, as an opportunity as opposed to a threat. Absolutely. GJ, can I just thank you for your candor and your vision. Thank you very much for spend, uh, spending this morning with us. Thank you. You're very welcome.